Set your phasers to awesome, cause this is Acoustic Lasers. That's right, lasers of pure sound. And to understand how acoustic lasers work, we first have to understand how lasers work. That's right, we're gonna talk about lasers today. Laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So really we should write laser like this. First word is a little redundant as radiation is referring to electromagnetic radiation or light. Sometimes we think of light as visible light, but the whole electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves to gamma rays can be used to make lasers. The one on the end of your keychain just happens to be red. Anyway, light is amplified by something called stimulated emission. And to understand that, we need to talk about atoms. In most atoms, the electrons tend to be at the lowest energy they can possibly be. In fact, all of nature and the cosmos tends to be at lowest energy levels. And we call this the ground state. It's as low as energy can be. But when you add energy to an electron, it jumps from this ground state to what is known as an excited state. And due to quantum mechanics, these energy states are set at very specific energy levels. So when an excited electron jumps back to the ground state, it emits a photon of a very specific wavelength, or color. Now if this photon runs into another electron in an excited state at the exact same energy level, it will drop down to the ground state, release a photon of the same color, in phase going the same direction. And this is stimulated emission, a photon that causes an atom to emit a second identical photon, and the very basis of a laser. Einstein first theorized this was possible back in 1916, but the first laser, or should I say maser, was first built in 1953. The problem to be solved here was how to get enough atoms into an excited state that stimulated emission even happens at all. As I said earlier, nature likes to be in the lowest energy levels. We can pump energy into an atom, get the electron excited, but it quickly jumps back down to the ground state and emits a photon. And that's not stimulated emission. We have a light, but we don't have a laser. So many modern lasers are what is known as three level lasers. So instead of pumping in energy to get an electron to the next highest state, we pump in even more. Since the pumping level is unstable and an electron will quickly drop to a lower level, we pump in enough energy to get an electron two states higher. This allows time to get enough excited atoms to have a population inversion. That is, there are more atoms in an excited state than in a ground state. A party in the excited state! So when an atom drops to the ground state, the photon released has a pretty good chance of running into another excited atom. And we have stimulated emission. Now if we put these atoms between two mirrors, the photons will start bouncing back and forth and running into more atoms, recruiting more and more photons until we have a beam. A laser beam. It's pretty cool that all this happens at the end of your keychain. But that's all optics. Let's talk about acoustics. Can we make a laser out of sound? <laughs> hey, 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 we've already done that. Lasers amplify light by stimulated emission of photons. Acoustic lasers amplify sound by stimulated emission of phonons. Phonons? You're, you, you gotta be making that one up. Actually, a phonon is a quantum mechanical description of an elementary vibrational motion in which a lattice of atoms or molecules uniformly oscillates at a single frequency. Or in plain English, a phonon is a normal mode of vibration in a crystal. That is, a phonon is a pattern of vibration of the actual atoms in the crystal. Which, like a kink in a rope, has some particle-like properties, and can act like a photon. Now if we amplify these phonons by stimulated emission, we would have a phaser, or phonon amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Yes, Star Trek fans, phonon lasers are called phasers. And in the past 10 years, scientists from all over the world have tried to make one using a variety of techniques from optical pumps to magnets to stuff. 
But a few months ago, researchers in Japan built a fully mechanical system. That is, it uses sound to pump energy into the system and stimulated emission of phonons to amplify acoustic radiation. Acoustic radiation is really just the fancy way of saying sound. And just like the three level laser, this new phaser uses multiple energy levels to create a highly directional beam of sound. Link in the description. I'd show you a picture, but you kinda need a microscope to see it. It's really tiny, which is inherently cute. But with this breakthrough, we might be seeing phasers and things like medical imaging in the not too distant future. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Acoustics, and if you'd like me to talk about any particular sound science, you can leave suggestions on one of these wonderful social networking sites or in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to The Point Studios and, uh, internet hug. <laughs>